In recent months, Kenyans have had to dig deeper into their pockets to foot electricity. Some accused Kenya Power of maliciously inflating unit prices at the expense of its consumers. What we want to hear, Chair, is what exactly is this billing and the impact of the very high bills on the economy of the normal Mwanainchi. If you buy tokens, the first thing the system would look at is the fixed charge. It detects the fixed charge. Whatever amount is left is then taken to discharge the units for your consumption. Kenya Power says the high electricity charges were due to drought that suppressed power generation from hydro dams as generators compensated this with expensive thermal plants which drove up the unit cost. At the moment, we are operating at about five, 535 US cents or 5 shillings and 35 cents. So that, again, has been the contributor towards the growth in electricity bills. Kenya Power was on the receiving end for failing to explain its bills to consumers, with senators and the Energy Regulatory Commission urging the utility firm to be breaking the charges down, especially when the cost increases. What Kenya Power needs to do is now inform the customers about the advantages of using the Kenya Power 888 instead of the vendors who are, who are actually uh, enabling the mobile operators make more money. We as a ministry engaged both Kenya Power and the regulator and uh, we directed the regulator to work on a rationalization process of the bill, a bill that is easily understood by Kenyans. Terus says Kenya Power is working on a more efficient token system.